On my worst days, I was my most charming, my most energetic, my most interesting, my most talkative. Yeah. I was happiest on my worst day because I decided that's how I have to be to stop myself feeling bad. You're a man and you're upset and you want to be X. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you how I became what I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. This is what I did. My general consensus is that I don't think I can change or affect the world to the point where pain and suffering and bad things are not going to happen. So isn't it best if I just enjoy all of that? Doesn't that make me as powerful as possible if I say, oh yeah, okay, this is going to suck, good. I mean, I do it when I fight. Uh -huh. Yesterday I was fighting, right? We were right. doing 12 rounds and all of us were destroyed. And the more he hurt me, the more I wanted to hurt him back. The more he hurt me, the better it felt. The more powerful I felt, the more he hit me. Because then it's my turn, right? So if I can't stop him from punching me, and I'll do my best, but if I can't, then surely you should learn to enjoy it, right? I do not believe in things that take away power from me. Right. I, ref I refuse to do that. I would rather say that they are not real. And people will sit here and argue to the end of time that they are real, but they're not real in my world, and I live inside of my mind. So even if you throw me in a Romanian dungeon, the idea that I become a depressed person is not a framework that my mind works within, so I can't become depressed. I can feel a little bit sad, sure, I can feel depressed, but I can't be depressed. That's just the mindset I've installed, and it's allowed me to be competitive, and I believe Personally, my personal beliefs are that life as a man is hyper competitive mm -hmm. and whatever software you have in your mind should be designed to make you as competitive as possible mm -hmm. and you shouldn't be believing in absolutely anything else. I've tried very hard to make sure all of my worldviews and all of my experiences and everything is created and aimed in a, a direction which is going to allow me to be a fiercer competitor in all realms of human endeavor. People challenge me often and what a lot of people don't understand is that I will never adopt the thinking of somebody who is sad, and I will never adopt the thinking of somebody who is less competitive than I am, or less successful than I am. If someone comes along and goes, Andrew, you are wrong, the way you see the world is wrong, but they are suffering from an affliction, mm -hmm. why would I adopt a single iota of what they say? I don't think you can stop life from hitting you, and I don't think you can stop life from giving you unexpected surprises, and I don't think you can stop yourself from feeling sometimes sad or anxious or upset. So I think the best mindset you could adopt is finding that engaging and exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're depressed, fine. Have you trained today? Well, that doesn't change what you should do with your life. I was in a Romanian jail cell with cockroaches crawling all over me as I slept. I never missed a day of training. I wouldn't say I was particularly happy. Push-ups must be done. I think that if you are black, white, Asian, I think if you stand up, self-respect, work hard, try your best, turn up on time, firm handshake, don't make excuses for anything. Don't look for an easy way out. No matter what your skin color is, in America or England or any other Western nation, I think you can be extremely successful. If you adopt that mindset, if you wake up and you're a particular color, you're purple, and you believe purple people can't make it, what's your chance of making it? Zero. Even if the world's racist against purple people, the best thing you can do is be such an exceptional purple person that they need you and the they need you. The, the only answer is hard work. The only answer is self-accountability, masculine essence, honor, dignity, making your ancestors proud of you because you hold the same last name as them. The answer is the same regardless anyway. Somewhere to come to me and say, Andrew, you're a mixed race. You're from a single mother household. You're never going to be rich. I'll say, watch me. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Who are you?